It is not exactly that's making us to know huh? that we cannot mingle huh? and go by all means to win them. Yes, we can. Huh? We are called to go in by all means. Huh? But there are some places huh? and there are some people huh? you don't need to be fellowshipping with huh? because those fellowship is not of God. Huh? It's of devils. Huh? And if it's of devils, And he said, my God, how's your justifying? Walk in sanctification. Someone give him a shot up in the house. flesh and your bloodline. It calls into your spirit. Hallelujah. And it takes root. It starts to manifest itself. It starts to speak back to you. Tell the name of the word is speaking back to you and I. Oh, shut up. to our dimensions uh, and remind us every moment, every second, every test of want to walk out of your will. Uh, remind us of how we uh, are called uh, to be sanctified unto you. Uh, remind us every day uh, that God, there's some places we cannot go. Uh, there's some things we cannot say uh, and there's some things we cannot do. Uh, make us to know that even if there's some way that we cannot dress uh, because sanctification will show out uh, on the outside uh, as I walk with God. Uh,
and they spoke of the power of the latter rain, that they're celebrating the team under the latter rain. The former has passed and the latter has begun. And we've just been preaching over that couple of days back in rough Saturday. Hey? Hallelujah. So I don't know what you we're in a season in which that this is a season time and we're hearing the voice of God. Someone say, I heard the voice. I follow God. I follow. So right there you are, wave your hand and get out of your sleepy zone, cause God wanna do something in this house tonight. Come on, let's work with me. Shut up, my When the word releases, it releases the power us. And that meaning when I shout, I know what I shout about. I just shout because I can shout. I dance just like a dance. No. I know what God then release over my life. I know what He's already released over this house. So feeding the whole man, every father is a friend. Wave your hand like you're preparing yourself to walk into the ladder. Everything that God's about to bring your way, He's about to bring a lot of empowerment. He's about to bring something new your way. He's about to unfold Himself to you in another dimension. He's about to show Himself stronger to you and I. But all He wants us to do is stay holy. All He wants us to do is stay living sanctified life. That's how we are eligible and qualified to receive what He want to release next off of us and out of the house. We got to stay in that position. We got to stay in that position. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, we bless you tonight. We thank you for your release. For your anointing is here to bring change. We thank you for this night in which that we call Friday Night Live. In which some things are about to be live again in the midst of our lives. Some things are about to dispatch from us. Father, we know that your word has released us to another dimension. And so this night we say, God, resolute, resolute, my God, reside. Let a revolution fall upon this house. And in a usual way, let it be a revolution of your word, a revolution of your faith, the faith that we have in you, and a rich that we walk in tonight. In the name of Jesus, I say, Father God, touch that one that is sick tonight, that one that is oppressed tonight, that one that is depressed tonight, that one that seems in no way out and they want to give up on God. I pray for that one in the hospital tonight. I pray for Michael Shane. I pray that you'll cover him right now. Call for divine healing by the power of the name of Jesus. God, we say, God, whatever the doctor said, God, you have the last say. We say, God, move in the mid, Hashara. Move in the mid right now. And we say, heal it to his body. We command those swelling to the crease. We call infection to dry up by the power of the name of Jesus. And we believe in faith tonight. For we are people of faith. We know that people just come to us here, but we are people of faith. We know that if we pray not only in our regard, but on the others, on others, but of other persons regard, huh? and not on their petition, we know that you're going to bring it forth and bring it to pass. There's some who need to fight your spirit in this hour. There's some need to be caught on fire. Some need to go to another dimension. Some have seen your hands in the form, and they've been questioning the move of God. They've been fighting for years. God, allow them to hear your cry tonight. Allow this night to be a night to turn around for many in this house under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. How long will you be husband to into opinion? If God be God serving, if God be God, go forward in the things of Him. If God say He's calling you to a higher level, how long will you stay in one position? How long will you keep listening to that strange God? How long will you stand up and keep listening to that form that, that that spirit that tends to come over your neck every now and then and speak a negative to you? How long? How long? How long? If God be God, and if He has spoken it, you better move forward in faith. So God, we thank you tonight. That word was for somebody in the house. There is an anointing of the prophetic in this house. And I want God to just have His way. Have His way. In the name of Jesus. Frontline, as I say to you, as God released in my spirit, live sanctified lives. Live sanctified lives. Surrender this movement and say, Lord, I surrender to another dimension. Another dimension in which that you want to draw me in more. Some things that we feel that we've already reached, we are reaching. Because God still says sanctification, 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 sanctification. He still says, die to that prayer, die to that, die to that. Modify your members. That I will receive you. So as you surrender in faith and you take this word not lightly tonight, this word was released for you and I. Take it tonight and say, God, I surrender. And I surrender to your will. Next image. I surrender. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for doing the work. We thank you for showering down your blessings upon this house. And upon the vision of this house. Is the key. 
I'm about to perfect some things that can affect them. Those two back to the titans, I tell you, I want to stop the move of your presence that is about to release over these front lines and many others that comes into this house. Don't be hindered. Don't be stopped. Greatness is calling them in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He can give a ring. There's a person in the house who knows the struggle that the Lord is saying tonight that you're struggling walking and walking in sanctification. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. Many times you see yourself. Some of them are standing, some of them are sitting that same test, that same battle act where the enemy came at you and tried to take you out again. And it's difficult to stand sometimes. It's difficult to stand. God said he's going to give you the strength to stand tonight. Hold your hand up and believe God tonight. Give you the strength to stand. You can make this journey. You can overcome. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah. I am an overcomer. Someone say, I am an overcomer. In the name of Jesus, Father, spread to those that have experienced a great challenge in their walk. We're not perfect, and we know that perfection comes from you. We know that perfection is in you. So we say, God, prepare the people to walk in sanctification. When the enemy comes and let the flood, allow the Spirit of God to lift up a standard against them. Let them spend more time before you. I hear the Lord God say to many of us and it's found my voice that. Many times he wants to perfect it, perfect that area of your life, but many times you're denying and turning your ears against this cry, this plan for your life. He's calling you, he said, spend more time in this, do this, do that, but you're still fighting. And that's why his challenge is great. He told you, take away those strange things from over your house. He said, put away those strange God. He said, turn it off, those doorways that the enemy want to use. To allow the Holy Spirit to come and reside in the house and to reside in your life, to weaken your spiritual walk. But you gotta hear it, people of God. Don't be disobedient. There's a person who kind of cut off some people. I see three people in some of you are like, kind of cut off. You gotta just deal with them on a, on a low down and you pray for them, you encourage them now and then, but they are stickle, they are holding you back from the next dimension and you know that very well. Someone give God a wave off in the house. Just wave your hand. God is speaking. Rabbi, they will, son. Don't take the word lightly. Don't question it. Don't even go home and allow the enemy to play with your mind. I said, you think he, she meant me? She meant that was, that was for me? Yes, it's me. God's word never falls to the ground. Whenever you release it, you release it timely. Seize it. Just to manifest itself out of you and I. In the name of Jesus. Oh, honey. Some of you in this house need to spend more time fasting and praying. Some are dried. God don't want you to be dry. He wants you to grow in grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Grace, power, faith. Take your eyes, Shabbat, and we'll move